What's going on everyone, it's your average consumer. And by now I'm sure you've heard of Android Wear and wearable tech, but today I've got an unboxing of the most anticipated addition to Android Wear in the wearable tech market, and that is the Moto 360. Now, Motorola announced this quite some time ago and it got hyped up and everybody wanted one. And when it finally went on sale, it sold out like, but luckily I was able to grab one. So, hey, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. And all right guys, here we have the Moto 360. Now I've been waiting for this guy forever. And here you see I picked up the gray version. And uh, just a quick look around the box, you can see that it's a cylinder kind of box because of course the 360 uh, is a, has a round face. Uh, to the sides, it'll tell you some of the things that you can expect from Android Wear. Over here is the same thing, but in another language. But um, yeah, I'm pretty excited, so I'm just gonna get to the opening of this guy. So I'm gonna pop this open with my unboxing knife. So here we have it. And I'll slice this tape open right here. There we go. We've got some more tape over here. And I think this is the last piece. And boom, so three pieces of tape. And uh, let's open this thing up. Boom, here you have it. Man, does this thing look pretty already. <laughs> All right, so let's see if there's anything else over here. Uh, up top here, it just shows you the Moto 360 and it has a nice little protective uh, piece right here to make sure that the screen is okay inside the packaging. So, oh, getting some tape off. So let's pull this out. So here we have it. Uh, I'm not even gonna play with it yet until I uh, get everything else out. Get this to the side. So, of course, what we have here is a charging cradle. Now, the Moto 360 supports wireless charging. So, with this thing, when you're plugged in with a micro USB cable, which is also included inside of here, and drop the 360 into the cradle, and then, boom, you're charging wirelessly. And I really like that. I'm a fan of wireless charging, so it's going to make it a snap. Since this is supposedly has one day of battery life, you have to, at night, just throw it on here, and you'll be good to go. So let's take a look at what else we've got. Uh, we've got some paperwork. Um, tells you a quick, gives you a quick start guide, so you can know exactly what to do with the uh, 360, and also some warranty information and how to protect it. So that's here. Now you also have this micro USB cable and this wall adapter. So let's see what we, how long the cable is. So when we take it apart. You guys can see here that this is actually a pretty decent length cable. So if you want to put this on a desk or a nightstand or something, this is actually going to be pretty solid. Uh, the feel of it is pretty good. Um, yeah, that's about it for this. Uh, let me stop wasting time and get to the actual 360. So we're going to clean here up a bit and let's check out the 360. And all right, guys, here we have the Moto 360. Uh, it comes on this little piece of cushion here that just like a normal watch, so all we have to do is slide this thing out, put this over to the side, and here you have it. Now this has leather straps. Now this is a Harwin leather, I believe it's called. Or yeah, Harween or Harwin leather. And um, this is it. It feels pretty solid, not, not anything too crazy. It's not the best feeling uh, leather in the world, but it's all right. And, uh, but this feels really nice. This feels very solid as far as the Moto 360 piece itself. Um, I plan on getting the metal straps that come out later in the fall. Those retail for about 80 bucks, but you can actually buy this with the metal straps later on for 300 altogether. Now you pay a premium for the metal straps, but it's $80, but they're factoring the price of uh, the leather straps that are included here. So it, if you were to buy both of them separately, it all would always come out to $330. So um, yeah, that's that. So um, let's see if I can actually take this sticker off the screen. And boom, there you have it. Now I didn't mention it yet, but the actual 360 itself retails for $250, which is actually a really good price point in my opinion. I like the price. Uh, I expected it to be like 300, but thankfully it wasn't. Now um, at the bottom here, you might be, all, be able to see it already. There's a little black bezel. Now it doesn't go all the way around the screen because all the sensors are down here. And um, it doesn't go all around the screen so that they don't take away it from real estate for the screen. 
So all of that sensors and stuff like that are all down packed at the bottom. So now let's actually see if we can uh, power this thing on. So just press the button, got a little vibrate, and you can see the Motorola symbol here. Kind of reminds me of the bat signal. <laughs> and inside you can see the startup uh, screen. I showed you some of the mechanics inside of a watch. And here you have the Android Wear uh, boot up. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to set this thing up and I'm probably going to play with it for a little bit and give you guys my first impressions. Now, before I set this thing up, I'm going to let you guys know some of the specs of the 360. It's got a 1.5 inch screen and it's got a resolution of 320 by 290. And that 290 is because of the black bezel at the bottom that cuts off. So it's 320 by 290. And it also has a 320 milliamp battery. So it's supposed to last a full day, but some people say that it only lasts half a day. So I'm going to let you guys know in my review how it's worked out for me. It also has four gigs of internal storage. I don't think you'll be able to store anything on this, but I'm sure that's for like future updates and handling firmware and software and stuff like that. It also has 512 megabytes of RAM, uh, Bluetooth 4.0, which is how it connects to your phone or Android device. And it's also waterproof and dustproof. So you can probably take a shower with this with no problem. You don't have to worry about that. But that's enough of the specs. Let me get this connected to a device and I'll let you guys know my first impressions. All right, guys, so I finished setting up. And once you start the initial setup process, you actually have to charge it some in order to actually use it. I think I had to charge it to at least about 75% until it let me mess around with the settings and actually get into the 360. And for some of you guys who don't know what Android Wear is all about, it'll pretty much allow you to use Google Now on your uh, Android Wear device. So you'll be able to see notifications and all the different things that Google Now offers right from your watch without having to pull out your phone. Now with this, you can also do like Google searches, you could do navigation, you can all find all kinds of information on here. And I think that's really useful. Now there are also apps that developers make so that you can actually go in and you know add different things to the watch. But I'm not sure how much all of that is going to consume the battery. So I'm going to let you guys know in a full review, but so far my first impression is that I'm very happy with this. It looks like it's a quality device. It feels very premium. It definitely seems like it's worth the $250 that you pay for it, but I can't make any final decisions about the overall experience until I've used it for a bit and I actually mess around with the software some, but the actual feel itself is very premium, very high quality stuff. Uh, I'm impressed so far. But I'll let you guys know in a full review how it functions and all the good stuff. So if you're interested in that kind of content, be sure to subscribe to the channel to make sure that you see all my updates about Android Wear, as well as a ton of other videos that I have coming. September is going to be a really crazy month for me as far as content goes, so definitely stick around. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed it, be the cool guy that gives this video a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel for more content from me. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.